Hi guys, I'm Simi and you're watching Simi's Diary. Chadar Trek, one of the most unique experience one can have. It is not a usual trek, but has become very popular due to its uniqueness. The trek is over the Zanskar River in Ladakh, which lies frozen during the winter. On day one, I landed at Leh Airport and headed straight to the guest house, where I got enough time to relax and acclimatize to the conditions. On day three, some of us got up really early to catch the sunrise and went for a hike to Shanti Stopa. We are running around Malika. at minus 20. Yeah, and it is minus 20 and we are still surviving. We are surviving here. Why have you come here to see the to see the sunrise? And where is the sunrise? These guys are telling me. Sunrise, uh, Ishwar ne chupa diya, and uh, myself, I am Ishwar. So, yeah. hi, hi <laughs> Nita, and we have come here at the Shanti Stupa to watch the sunrise. And this is, but unfortunately, the sun seems to be a little hiding behind the clouds today. This trek is only permitted during the months of January and February as during that time the ice tends to be at its most stable state. I had booked my trek with International Youth Club and I met my group which consisted of 22 members which included trekkers from all over the country. As per the regulations, anyone doing the Chadar trek should at least spend two days in Leh to get our body fully acclimatized to the weather condition and the altitude before the medical test which was to be done on day three of the trek. You can use these days to lift up any piece of warm clothing or equipments that you might need for the trek from Leh market. This was the day where our trek actually began and we were welcomed by light snowfall before we headed to Shingra Korma, the starting point of the trek. You will pass Gurdwara Pathar Sahib, Magnetic Hill and Sangam, the confluence of the Zanskar and Indus on the drive from Leh to Shingra Korma. Hey, you are doing? Please, please, please. It's very cold. How many times are you? 
We had a lot of fun on our way. We fell a couple of times, crossed chadar sometimes in freezing water, wearing our gum boots. But we were lucky as chadar was formed well and was sturdy. We trekked from our campsite of Tip Cave to Nerik, where we were left spellbound by the beautiful frozen waterfall. This was the last point where we did stay for the night and then returned back. We trekked for three days to reach Nerik, but returned in two days. So technically, we trekked for a total of five days. Our return trek was more challenging as chadar was broken in a couple of places and we had to trek on the rocks and boulders with our heavy backpacks.
Come on. Come on. Okay, come on. Yes. One, two, three, go. But finally, we successfully completed the most unusual trek in India and ticked one of the items of our bucket list. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.